Last year, Anwar al-Awlaki was the first American citizen put on the CIA's kill or capture list. Friday in Yemen, an American airstrike took out his convoy. The death of al-Awlaki is a major blow to al-Qaeda's most active operational affiliate. And the network's most significant loss since its leader in May. Well, this, this has been a bad year for terrorists. Al-Awlaki was suspected of playing some role in several attempts to hit the U.S. through planning, motivating, or communicating. From the attempted underwear bombing aboard a Detroit-bound plane, to a failed truck bombing in Times Square, to the deadly shootings at Fort Hood. Basically, every homegrown jihadi case, and there have been 43 since 9-11, uh, Anwar al lakis fingerprints are there. And his internet savvy, along with an ability to speak both Arabic and English fluently while denouncing the U.S., made him a key tool for recruiting a younger generation. Civil liberties groups have questioned whether the government has the right to kill an American citizen who was not charged with a crime. To others, it's clear-cut. This is an American who joined an organization that declared war a foreign terrorist organization on the United States. Bottom line is, is he made his own bed here. And uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, fair game. In Times Square, the same idea. If I was that type of person, I'd expect you to blow me up too. I don't feel bad about it. Protects uh, American lives. Do it. The White House calls it an intelligence issue and won't discuss the circumstances or standard for killing a citizen. Sandra Magani, Associated Press, Washington.